Unemployment in the U.S. has reached a post-World War II record of 14.7%. Almost 40 million Americans are at risk of eviction this year. In this late modern era of the global pandemic, homeless shelters and assistance centers have to continuously get creative since the normal resources are not available to them. The global pandemic has greatly affected the way an assistance center like this runs. Um, we have Hope Cuts, which is our barber shop program. Um, so we'll be having different barbers that are licensed in Missouri come in to volunteer with us to provide haircuts to our guests. Hope Grows is our garden. So we will be able to grow different produce and flowers and whatever your heart may desire in our own garden. And then we'll provide that to our Hope Feeds program, which is our kitchen. So we provide breakfast and lunch for all of our guests every day. Um, so instead of having to order all of our produce and stuff, we'll just be able to grow it and it'll be organic and ready to go for us. These assistant campuses and shelters are using it in ways that can keep providing, like sustainable agriculture or through exchange programs. It used to be just volunteering with us for a few hours. Um, so if you're a guest, you can like help clean the facility or something like that, or help us with construction on whatever project we're doing. With Hope Cuts, if you need a haircut, we're gonna give you a haircut. Yeah. It's mostly just you sign up and yeah. you'll receive what you need. Help us out for a few hours and we'll give you what you need. We have Hope University, which is going to be a program dedicated to educating our guests, whether that be helping them get their GED or learning how to write a resume or applying for jobs and stuff like that. That's what the main focus will be. So we're looking at different universities to partner with us on that. The most successful programs, both in the U.S. and globally, are those that provide people with the routes, whether through work, education, or funds to get started. We have HVAC, which is veteran-centered, so um, all veteran support. It's a huge population of homeless people who are veterans, which is really sad. So we are dedicated to supporting them and their life and whatever journey they're on. And Help Health, which is our, um, our medical program. Okay. So we'll be able to provide free medical and dentistry for everyone. We have eye clinic too, so. Yeah. That's, that's really <laughs> yeah. We're doing a lot here. Assistant campuses like Hope Faith KC provide those in need with work opportunities in exchange for the services. Proper exchange gives a sense of purpose. You work that you may keep pace with the earth and the soul of the earth, for to be idle is to become a stranger onto the seasons and step out of life's procession. <laughs>